is Councilwoman Charlene Bybee, Ward 4. I'm in Ward 4 at uh, Fire Station 4 uh, over here on Disc Drive. Uh, I'm here today at our fire station because I wanted to talk about vaccines. The COVID vaccine, uh, as you know, has started a couple weeks ago, and the Sparks Fire Department has been administering vaccines. They started with our uh, first responders and uh, moving to essential workers later, but in the meantime, uh, they are helping with Washoe County School District to get educators vaccinated. And on that topic, which is probably the hot topic for sure uh, of the week, if not the year for all of us. So Governor Sislak has recently updated the playbook for vaccine distribution in the state and has moved to two lanes rather than the tiers that were previously uh, listed. So our one is for essential workers and the others for the general public. With the vaccines, the biggest question I'm getting, and I had myself, was where do you go? How do you get it? How do you get in line? And all of that information uh, is going to be on a new expansion of the COVID-19 Washoe website. So if you go to COVID-19 Washoe vaccine.com, that information will be updated daily. Part of the logistical problem is that we don't know how many vaccines we're getting on a daily or weekly basis. And then um, all of the providers, and there's a, a large array and an expanding um, amount of locations that are offering the vaccines. Um, I was able to schedule last week or to put them in a waiting line, my 91-year-old dad and his 89-year-old neighbor. And we got a call from Community Health Alliance and they're scheduled for this Saturday. So there are waiting lines for some. Some you just want to make a, uh, an appointment, but all that information and where to click to uh, receive your vaccine, whether it's Renown or the VA or our pharmacies, uh, will be on that website. So that's critically important. Please share that because everyone uh, is anxious to get vaccines so that we can move through to hopefully a, a more normal life. Um, back to normal is what we're all gearing for. Uh, the second topic I wanted to talk about is that we just um, recently had our third forum, uh, community forum on uh, Facebook Live. It's the Every Voice Counts and it's a community conversation that we started last fall. We had two in the fall and this is our first one kicking off the new year. We had the opportunity to have our new police chief, uh, Chief Crawford, come on board and talk to us about the police department, his direction as our new police chief, and uh, a variety of programs that are important to our community, and then uh, questions and answers from the public. So we had uh, that, and also our new assistant city manager, Allison McCormick, talking about a diversity commission that we are in the process of forming and what City of Sparks is doing moving in that direction this spring, uh, and hopefully that will be in place. Uh, open to applications, but more information she'll be providing. And uh, if you missed it, go on to City of Sparks Facebook page and you'll be able to watch that for community forum. So that's my update from Ward 4 in the beautiful City of Sparks. Uh, don't forget, you're always free to reach out to me with questions, comments, uh, email or call, and uh, follow us on Facebook, our City Council meetings, our Facebook Live, and also on our Facebook page. So uh, look forward to hearing from you and uh, have a great week. Bye.